Kendall Hill from Fan Out Sports. Standing <laughs> here with the big man, Scotty Rogers. How you doing today, man? Good, man. How you doing? Good, good, good. So you got the MLF season coming up. This is what, your eighth year now? A seventh season. Seventh season. So feels like eight, but seven, yeah. So what's the expectations from you and the machine, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, going, man, We've yeah, I started with that team when we were two and 12. And uh, we, we made something pretty special there, going to the uh, final four the last two seasons. So we're looking to just, we want to win a championship. I think that's a reasonable um, expectation for me. Being a seven-year vet, all personal goals are kind of on the back burner. I just want to win a championship. I think that would be, with the group of guys we have, that would be the most important thing right now. So, you know, lacrosse is starting to make its way out west. Just What do you think what needs to happen with the sport to, you know, elevate it to the next level so y'all can get them big contracts? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think the uh, – I think one one thing a, a person that haven't watched a game, if they came to an MLL game, they'd see uh, the size of us. I think a lot of us, you know, from midfielders like Paul Rabel, I'm a goalie. Uh, guys, dudes are big. I think the athletes now are just bigger, stronger, faster. I think um, the old stigma is that lacrosse players are kind of smaller. Um, it's still achievable. You know, you can still be a small guy and play uh, at the pro level, but it's more of a um, dominant athlete, you know, strong you know, fast, and the guys shoot the ball all 100-plus. So, I mean, it's, it's fun, and I, I just think more exposure. Uh, more exposure will be great for the game. What's, what, like, I would say you're becoming more of an ambassador, especially, like, on the social media aspect of lacrosse. Just what's your goals for the sport in, I'll say, the next five or ten years? I mean, I hope when I'm retired, I got, like, two, more, two three more years left. When I'm retired, I want to see – these young guys get, you know, Miles Jones at Duke. I want to see those guys get some big um, endorsement contracts. I think that's possible with, like, you know, like I said, he's a 6'5", 230-pound midfielder. Player. And he's a basketball <laughs> player. And he's a three-sport athlete. I think he's um, the next group of guys that could, you know, take over for guys like Paul Rabel and myself as far as ambassadors of the sport. You just need young guys like that to come, and, and I want to see those guys make some big money. You mentioned Miles Jones, and you played with a guy in Kyle Harris and just – the urban environment. What what can lacrosse? What do lacrosse has to do to you know become more prevalent in urban communities? I think I'm from a blue collar family. You know, I came. I, I always preached out to the camps, and then, you know, it's not. It is a white collar sport. It originated that way, but um, any gear sports that way, and any any hockey player, uh, you know, they got to buy thousands of dollars of gear too. So I think it starts with guys like Kyle Harrison. Um, ambassadors of the game going to those communities and, and you know we hook up as much gear as we can for those communities let the kids play let you know if the kid I think kids will love it the more they get to play the more they see how fun it is the speed of the game is awesome it's a mixture hybrid between basketball football hockey it's got all those components I think if you just give exposure to kids in urban areas I think it, it, it'll be their favorite sport so a lot of people know you from your your dynamic run during the what was that, your senior year at Notre Dame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what was that experience like? Just, you know, you was in the zone, basically. Just, <laughs> how was that feeling? Yeah, it was, it was one of those things. We had a so-so uh, regular season, like 7-7. Seven and seven. Um, I think we finished, and we just got hot at the right time. I think I was seeing the ball well. Uh, we had nothing to lose. I mean, we weren't favored to win the thing. Uh, it was just something that we, we knew we could achieve with the group of guys we had, and we said, why not? Why not us? And I think uh, – uh, personally, I just felt like I was seeing a beach ball out there, and that thing just got bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> and I was making saves, and, and they were they were doing a good job in front of me. How do you get? How do you get to that that, that moment where you you see the ball and it's as big as everything on the field? Uh, I think I, I've, I've as been a reading, goal, yeah, right? yeah. I, I've been reading a few books about being in the zone, and I think baseball players can see the ball. Anytime you're playing a ball sport, you could kind of hone in and. Uh, eye hand coordination just is, is so important. I think I was listening to my, my music and I have a certain playlist I listen to that goes through and that kind of stuff. Uh, superstition, routine, all that stuff helps you get in your zone and kind of get into that point. Okay, okay. So you went to WrestleMania. Yeah. Just how was first, how was that experience? Uh, I'm a fan, so I think it's you know for me I was kind of nerding out. And <laughs> I was like a kid in a candy shop. I thought it was so cool to see guys like Kane and the Big Show. And I, it was it was awesome. The Rock. Uh, these are kids I looked you know guys I looked forward up to when I was growing up. You're a big guy, so you see somebody like Kane or the Big Show. Like, <laughs> I, that's the, now at this age, I'm 29. I'm sitting there going, I respect these guys as athletes. I know what they do for their workouts, and I follow what their workouts are, and I work out. So I try to kind of compete with those.
those guys, I mean, those guys are doing it at 35, 40 years old still, and they look great. I mean, I said, well, that's awesome. So. Also on social media, you're a big workout guru. Um, where did that come from? Like, where did, when did that start? Your whole, you just want to just be a beast in the gym. My father, my father's always like, a, my father's a Marine. Uh, he's a Marine and he's a correction officer growing up. He was always in the gym and he put me in the gym when I was, he exposed me to the gym when I was about seventh grade. And I just kind of took off as a hobby. We kind of worked out together, me and my pops and, it's something that we do together, and it's kind of stuck with me. It's something I kind of do for fun. And I love to do. So your pops is the main motivation. Yeah. So I, I, I talked to you before in the past, and I, you told me about how you know you kind of family, your pops, and like how important is he to you, and just your growth as a man. And he's been, you know, for me, I always watch him work. Like for him to coach me, he coached all my teams when I was growing up, and he would make it home by four o'clock for practice. Um, but he would go to work at 4 a.m. every day and be at the prison and work overtime and somehow get home and coach me up every day. So um, now that I'm old, you know, I, I kind of took that for granted back then. And now it's one of those things where you realize how hard he worked just to make time for everything and make sure I was successful and and support our family. You know, I have a sister and my mom. So he, he was, you know, he was my role model for sure. Okay, so lastly, let's just... What, what can we expect from Scotty Rogers in the future? Man, I've been I've, I've, I've had two years to kind of rest and, and reflect on what I need to do. I, you know, I, I'm expecting big things for myself, obviously. Um, but for my team, I think I think we you can see us in the championship. I think if everybody does their job, um, and especially I'm I'm ready to go. I mean, I've been this motivated since my rookie season. Um, I'm just ready to go out there and ball out, man. So we'll see. Scotty, tell them where to find you at on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Yeah, man, find me on Instagram, Scotty Rogers 42 uh, Twitter, Scotty Rogers 42 Facebook, Scotty Rogers, R-O-D-G-E-R-S. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Good.